Hello everyone, Cider Guys here, bringing you another review episode. Uh, today we have two of the Bull City Cider Works Palm Solos. These were produced for their, um, what was it, two year anniversary? Two year anniversary. Um, one of their anniversaries. Um, <laughs> On uh, at March on March 31st. Yeah. Um, so, but uh, they put these out. These are um, the first ones out of their new cider exploratorium in Durham, North Carolina. Um, that exploratorium we've talked about before, um, but it's a uh, just a small batch um, cidery. Their largest production, of course, in in uh, Lexington here near us. Um, but anyway, so we've got two of their uh, Palm Solo series here. We've got the Crimson Crisp and the Pink Lady. Um, which one you want to start with? Let's start with the Crisp. Okay. So as our name says, Palm Solo, single apple. So these are the single apple variety um, ciders. So, and uh, as our name says, it's the apple they use. So this is made with the Crimson Crisp apple. And these are supposed to be drier than most of their mm -hmm. ciders. And what did you say the AP, ABV was on them? This one is 6.99. I think they're both 6.99 as a matter of fact. Um, what they say about this one on the bottle here is this Palm Solo Hard Cider Series uses 100% single cultivar NC apples. So you can taste the difference. Crimson crisp apples fermented with our Bull City blend of yeast strains created entirely... An earthy cider, I'm sorry, can't read. Um, earthy cider with bright acidity and soft tannins. Plays well with ripened cheese, fresh fruits, and shellfish. Did you bring cheese? No, I didn't. Oh, <laughs> good. I don't like cheese. <laughs> so, a um, little bubbly. Um, not as yeah. bubbly as some of the stuff we've had before, but definitely it's not, not flat. Or not steel, rather. Yeah. It's better. That's the more appropriate term. <laughs> so, um, aroma-wise, nothing really stands out. I mean, like we said, it's just that single variety apple. Mm -hmm. And right off the bat, it is much drier than, dry. than uh, a lot of the stuff they produce. Mm -hmm. um, pretty acidic. I mean, it's pretty pretty tart. It's pretty tart, yeah. Um, very dry. Not too familiar with what a crimson crisp apple taste like. Mm, never had a I never had another crimson crisp cider before. Mm -mm. But this is one of those you definitely if you're into the, the drier white wines and stuff like that. Right. This one would be this one would be right up your alley. Yeah this one would appeal um, to you. Got a yeah. good got a good flavor of other than the other than the tartness of it, it's a pretty mild flavor. Mm. Um yep. it's just got a interesting. nice little bite to it. Yeah. That's about it. Yeah. And the second one is the <clears throat> pink lady. Let's see what it says. Um, Pink Lady apples fermented with our Bull City blend of yeast strains create a delicate fruit forward cider with a fleeting hint of sweet. <clears throat> so maybe this one will be a little bit sweeter. Let's see. All your Miami Dolphins fans will like the uh, colors on that yeah. label. So this one's quite bubbly again. This one already smells like it was going to be sweeter. Oh yeah. So again, I'm not too familiar with the Pink Lady apples, but this one already has a sweeter aroma to it. Yeah, and I, the reason I was going back to the other one, this one has a little bit more of the um, more of the uh, the yeast smell to it. You can, you can smell the yeast that they used in a little bit more than you can with that one. Yeah, it's the the apple aroma is not as strong. Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely sweeter, not as much of a bite. Right. Um, not much of an aftertaste. Very well, this one has a very little aftertaste. They're sort of hard to explain because we've done so many um, this, crafty type yeah, ciders. Multi, where multi flavor ciders stuff where you got. Added to them and yeah. it's just back to basics here. So. Yeah, yeah. These are very, like, you know, just very apple flavored yeah. ciders. You know, they're. Be a good starting point. Um, for mm -hmm. uh, especially wine dr wine drinkers, like we said. So. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I, I mean, I guess that's the thing with these these ciders is there's not a lot of frills to them. Um, I mean, it just is what it is. You're drinking, you know, it's a single apple variety, so you don't have a lot of extra flavors playing in there. You're just getting from what that apple 
taste like and you're getting the smells and then maybe some of the flavors from the yeast strains that were used um, but other than that I mean it's just it's just they are what they are there's nothing fancy or over the top about them which is like I said which is different for us we don't we're not used to really getting a lot of that very single apple variety yeah. stuff so you know not a lot of extra but, flavors but I'm gonna say it's nice to get back to back to the basics and oh uh, yeah something that's not too overly thought or anything like that. So. Yeah. So that's out, of, nice. out of these two, I would say my the uh, Pink Lady is probably my favorite just because it is a tad sweeter. Um, not necessarily the sweetness is my favorite, but it's the fact that it mellows it out. Um, it just doesn't have that tart <clears throat> bite that yeah. the Crimson Crisp does. Yeah. So, and, and I'm going to attribute that purely to the apple itself. Yeah, yeah. It's probably a, a higher a higher tannin apple. is probably on the the um, more bitter end of apples or more yeah. tart end of apples. Um, so, but I mean, overall, it'd again, really, another great cider from Bull Seed Cider Works. Yeah. You know, it'd good be, stuff. It'd be really cool if we had the apple that we could bite into the apple and then take a swig of the cider and see. Yeah. Ooh, that's see a good that. idea. We might yeah. have to do that sometime. <laughs> we'll have to wait till all the apples come in. It'll be later on in the year. Yeah. We'll have to see because all these are. Um, all these apples come from North Carolina here, so um, I know that they get a lot of their peak ladies from um, Perry Low Orchards um, in uh, Wilkes County. Um, now, I don't know where the Christmas crisps come from, but I know that's where the pink ladies come from. So, but it was pretty good, not yeah. bad. So, uh, like we said, we picked these up in Mar the end of March mm -hmm. at their anniversary. We were just down there a couple weeks ago for the cider crawl, and they still had plenty of these left. I think they're only selling these at the cidery itself yeah. in both uh, in both both locations Durham and Lexington so yeah. they're still out there and available if you want to try them so uh, get out there and yeah. pick one up absolutely and, then, and yeah and if you're one of the first if this could be one of the first ciders you try I mean this could be this could definitely be one of them yeah. so but uh, thanks for watching we appreciate it um, you know Follow us on all of our social media, Facebook, um, Twitter, Instagram. We'll try to post a lot more on there, you know, about, again, where we are, what we're doing, um, what, we're, yep. what we're sipping on. If we have a little one-off time, you know, I know Mark does a lot of that. So if you see a lot of Instagram stuff with, you know, pictures and um, tastings, it's usually him. He does a good job at that. So um, follow us on that. Stay up, stay up on all the local stuff. Yep. Um, drink local. Drink more apples. Uh, please always drink responsibly, and from the Cider Guys, cheers. cheers.